In honor of National Police Week, we look at how local law enforcement is staying sharp and maintaining their edge in the line of duty. Our Shawanda Jones takes a closer look. Get back here. It's consistent across the board. Each training academy in the state has a standardized curriculum. Now each agency might have a little tweak that they might do a little different or put a little more emphasis on one particular thing, but uh, it's all the same as far as minimum standards. They have to go through. State law requires each police officer to keep their certification current by continuing education with 24 hours of annual additional training. A lot of our training is firearms. Uh, this year we did uh, Norcan, uh, we've done report writing, we've done responding to domestic situations, uh, we're getting ready to do conflict resolution. We sent uh, three to motor school, uh, we're getting ready to send three to less lethal school. Uh, last year we had 12 that went to SWAT school. All of those hours count toward their 24 hours of continuing education. This was William Henderson three months ago, a recruit gearing up for the academy. Now. Henderson is one of five officers who just graduated from the Jackson Police Training Academy last Friday. He says the training was more fun than he ever expected. The driving and shooting, uh, defensive tactics, uh, it really brought everybody together in the way that we need to come together as a unit in the department as well. So hopefully I can apply those skills more than anything. There's a motto that law enforcement use in a training academy, uh, more sweat and training, less blood on the street. And CPD currently has 45 officers. Chief Daughtry hopes to get that number up to 75.